Can we guess where you're from? You said South America, right? Yes. Okay, Argentina. Uh, no. <laughs> no, why the people said uh, always that? You know, <laughs> you're not. Mexico. Uh, no. You're the first guy that always saying that. The people said, uh, you're from Mexico, Argentina. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's cause it's cause a lot of people that I meet here in VR chat are always either from Mexico or Argentina. Those are like the bigger ones. Yeah. You don't really have like a like a Portuguese accent, so that's why I'm not guessing like Brazil and stuff yet. El Salvador oh, is also like no, a, like a really good one too. Yeah. Not me yeah. though. Guess where I'm from? You from America? Where? <laughs> hey, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, brother. Hell yeah, yeah. King Kona. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I don't even have to <laughs> So, what are your hobbies, guys? You know, besides the chatting with people here? Mm. I Oh, like besides VR chat or like in VR chat? Uh, besides to everything, man. You know, reading, watching, uh, VR chat. playing games. Um, I don't know. I like to play games. I play the piano, kind of shit, but I still play it, you know? <laughs> That's cool, um, man. The piano, it's really cool. Yeah, piano's piano's fun, dude. So fucking fun to play. So relaxing. You just fuck around, just spam everything, and just go make bam 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 bam, wake everybody up, you know. But uh, uh, you're good. Do you know how to play the piano? Ah, uh, nah, dude. I started learning like probably like two weeks ago. Uh, but uh, you know, in your opinion, in your opinion, is uh, how to say this? You know, how much time, you know, are you gonna, you know, are you gonna use for, you know, for learning how to play the piano, you know? Mm, like, during the week, I only play like about, like, four times, probably. Like, four times, and they're usually like, an hour-ish, like, somewhere around that. I just kind of play until I get bored of it. And, but uh... Pretty consistent, pretty consistent. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. There is a lady, if, you know, behind you, man. Nah, it's probably. What's up, guys? How was the night going? I found you. I found you? Who said that? Yeah, dude, what I'm about you guys? You guys? I don't know. Any hobbies you guys like to do besides VR chat? Well, yeah. Uh... Okay, go ahead. All my hobbies are cancelled right now. Because <laughs> of COVID, I'm really stuck at Ooh. home and it fucking makes me miss. What kind of hobbies did you have before? Um, I, I would play golf, but only just with my cousin because it's cold. And then like, airsoft. Y'all know what airsoft is? Like, yeah, dude, hell yeah, games. airsoft's hella fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, dude. I used to go uh, paintballing with my cousins, and we would just like play against whoever randomly was out there playing at the time. Shit's so fun, dude. People take it hella serious, though, dude. It's fucking crazy how serious people take it. <laughs> crazy, crazy <laughs> stuff. Yeah, they get they get actually triggered, dude. Like if they shoot you in the leg, and and if you don't like lift up your fucking air, like your fucking fucking paint like gun, whatever the fuck, in like two yeah, seconds, yeah. dude, they're already yelling at you like, hey, 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 I got you. You're fucking out, dude. You're out. Like, whoa, chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I'm chilling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they get aggressive. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's always the tryhard with all the most gear and shit and the most expensive mm -hmm. Yes, dude. God damn. But it's all have fun though, I guess. It's all part of the... It's like the, like the toxicity is part of the game, I think. <laughs> what, what do you say, man? The toxicity is part of the game? Oh my god. Yeah, it's like playing yeah, Overwatch, yeah, dude. You yeah, you're Overwatch right. The toxicity yeah, in the game. it's right. <laughs> Well, in every game, man, you know, in every competitive game, always toxicity is something. Uh, something in some ways is fun, and in some ways is hard. You know, well, it's what that's what I think, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, do you guys play uh, some kind of competitive game like I don't know, Overwatch, PUBG, Dota, League of Legends? Something like that? I play I play Overwatch. I used to play League, but I kind of got tired of that shit. But I play League. I mean, Overwatch still. A lot of Overwatch. And uh, in your opinion, man, what is more stressful? What kind of game is more stressful, you know? League of Legends or Overwatch? Oh, uh, League, dude. League is, like, more stressful because, like, 
it, it's, it's like um, in Overwatch, like if you're playing like a DPS, I feel like you can at least somewhat carry a little bit easier. But if you're playing League and your whole team is trash, it's, it's, it's fucking cancer, dude. It's so bad. And then you're stuck there. Especially if they don't want to forfeit. You're just stuck there for like an hour. It's terrible. And uh, look at this man, this, uh, this example. What if you are in a team? And look at this. You, you, you barely know me. I'm the new player. And I'm a terrible player. So what are you going to tell me, man? <laughs> Just be honest. Oh, man, yeah. I don't know. I, okay, look, to be honest, when I play League and Overwatch, I, I'm the type of person that gets very toxic. I'm like the person that like just flames people for fun. Yeah. So I'm part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> but that's only because that's only because like I can back it up with actual like skill. Like I'm not trash. So it's, it's, it, you know, like it's it's one of those things where you're like kinda good at it. Not yet, amigo. Like you can talk shit and it doesn't really matter because you're still doing good anyways. So probably look at this man, we're playing, you know, you're doing, you know, our team fights are amazing and boom, I did a mistake. Yeah. So what are you gonna tell mm. me man? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I mean, if, if it if it's like over completely, really, no, no, yeah, I'd get kind of pissed. Like, but if it, if it was like something minor, I don't give a fuck. Like, it, it's whatever. But like, if you just like feed, I'll start question marking you and shit and peeing you. That kind of shit. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, it's funny to me though, that's why I laugh. That's why, I don't know, I feel like I contribute to the problem. Uh, look at this man, I, you know, I used to play Dota 2 with one of my best friends and every time that we play mm -hmm. together, it's, it's amazing, it's we, we win most of the games but, uh, you know, there is a couple of days that I play, I don't know why man, <laughs> so lazy or bad and my friend is that kind of people that said, Adelmo, are you crazy, why did you do that, oh my god <laughs> Hey, but they're your friends though, like if you fuck around like that, yeah. like, I get it, because I fuck around with my friends like that too I'm like are you yeah, fucking yeah. blind, dude? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you know that expression. Are you a retard? Are you blind? Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> like the thing I tell, like my friend will play like something, and and you just, most like most of the healers are always like a Moira or like a Mercy or something. I'm like, dude, take your hands off your pants, dude. Stop looking at Moira and play the fucking game. Some bullshit like that. But, but because to, we're friends, right? We yeah, around like that. To be honest, man, when the, my friends told me trying to well, like um, telling me. Uh, that kind of stuff I feel like I'm not gonna say mad I'm not gonna say sad but I feel like um, um, I lose it you know the, the balance you know and uh, when you play you know when you when you play a competitive game like League of Legends or Go 2 you need to be calm you know for you do your moves your actions your spells your you know your team fight and when you when I lost that I feel like I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, and oh my god, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> Jesus, man. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting a little hot. <laughs> you know, the other uh, the other day I was playing, you know, again, you know, since a long time ago, and uh, my friend was really mad to me, he was saying, Adelmo, you suck, man, just go, 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 or I'm just gonna tell something more. It's like, okay, I understand. <laughs> and I, I went, you know, I stopped to playing for two days, then I came back, he called me, Hey man, you know, like nothing happened. Hey man, don't you mind to play? Do you want to join me for play some Dota? It's like, uh, okay, you treat me like shit the other day, and now you tell me you want to play. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you took it too personally, bro. You took it too. You should. You should have just bannered back and be like, yeah. man, it was okay. I almost said. It. I almost fucking okay. It's a bad habit. I almost said it. I didn't. It's but like it's... you should have been like, dude. Like, what the fuck? You know, like you, you're fucking like you know. You just put it on them. You put yeah. the blame. That's yeah. How you, that's, how you, like, that's how you. What the fuck? I just had aneurysm. That's how you handle the situation with your friends. It's like uh, right now, man. Push the blame. You're like, no, 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 no. Look at this, man. You and I were best friends. You know, amazing. We having fun. We go parties. You know, with teammates. And when we play League of Legends, I made a mistake. And you tell, Adelmo, you're a retard, blind. You know, go fuck yourself. It's like, uh, yeah, okay, I'll man. Okay, okay, team okay, team okay. Team. I just go away and then you call me oh. Adelmo man please join me we're gonna play League of Legends like uh you treat me like shit man now you tell me you wanna play again <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah, man you don't fuck with it that much you don't fuck with the, with the banter as much I guess so what do you think man in um you know if you if we were in some kind of tournament for League of Legends Overwatch don't you think for make a great teamwork you know is uh, it's about personalities, you know? You know, like, you're the kind of people that listen, or I am the kind of people that listen, you know? 
So, what mm. is your point of view, man? <clears throat> Um, me personally, I'm the one, like, like, even when I play, like, Overwatch and shit, um, I'll do callouts, but, like, not as many as, like, like, someone who's, like, a team captain would or whatever, but I can see you being, like, the type of person who's, like, mostly quiet and listening to the comments, you know? So... Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, basically, you are the, you, uh, you know, would you rather prefer the leader or just, you just follow the crowd, you know? Mm, no, 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 I probably, I, I, I do, like, like, uh like sub captain or some shit you know something not leader because i don't want that i don't want that fucking load on me i like i just want to play let let other people handle all that shit you know but i'll help with the call outs or something if, if it needs or whatever it's like uh, imagine man I, I am i am your I'm just lazy it's like <laughs> i'm a new player and you you don't know me but you know it's like it's like a challenge you know just imagine man in the tournament for what is that hold on i gotta i gotta show avatar Oh my god, it's the end of the war, man. What's going on? <laughs> Jesus. What is that? Okay. Is that... Uh... What is that supposed to be my reaction, guys? Is that funny? <laughs> wait, wait, say that again? No, I was saying, man, it's... Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you're from China? People from China. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Thailand. Fuck. I think yeah, it's China. Fuck. What? I don't know. What? Okay. What? I know. Okay, so so my main thing when I came to VR chat was I just wanted to learn a bunch of fucking curse words in every language I could. And so I have like a bunch, but I don't have any any in Thailand, so never mind. I don't have any any Thai curse what? words. How many languages do you know, man? What? Uh, I, okay, so I only speak Spanish and English fluently and, and Japanese really? kind of. I took like four years in high school. Okay, uh, could you please I, say I, something I, in Spanish, you know? Sit, sit, sit. In Spanish? Yeah, something like... Uh, oh my god, <laughs> what was that? Hola, como estas? Oh. Oh. Como I don't know, like, I don't know. Huh, well, that I'm sounds... half Mexican, so it's like, you know, it, it's, it, it's kind of ingrained. Again, that again, that, oh my god, what's... What, what, again? Jesus, man. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know, man. That, that, is that supposed to be fun? Or what? Okay. Hold on, give me one second. Okay. Alright. In your opinion, man, uh, what language is the most difficult to learn? You know, besides to English, Spanish, Chinese, Korean, German, I Russian. Say, I would say French. French. No, okay, I'm back. What happened? What I missed? Okay, who said that? Who said that? Oh, it's Quack. What the hell? Did you say that, man? About the French? Yeah, French is like one of the hardest, I think. Oh my god. French is one of the hardest, what, like, languages to learn? Yeah, I was asking, you know, in your opinion, guys, what is the most difficult language to learn? And that, that guy, Squawk, says French. Hey, click, click. Mm. Yeah, yeah, what about, man, the maybe, maybe. Chinese, Russian? Because I think Russian I think, is... I think Chinese, I think Chinese is probably the hardest, no? I think technically that one's, like, considered the hardest one to learn. Yeah. From what I've heard, I don't know. And uh, look at this, I mean, if you learn, you know, all the languages of the world, you know, what would be your, your dream job, you know, having that power, you know? Mm, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get, like, a good job for, for, like, some government or something at some point. Yeah. Because, man, just imagine, you have all the language, everything, man. So all the people can understand what you're saying. Yeah, something crazy, I don't know. Some, something crazy that, like, works. Yeah, what is that, man? What the heck? Oh, damn! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Jesus, man. So, man, you were saying, uh, you know, English and uh, Spanish. You know, how much time, uh, you know, do you use for learning Spanish, you know? Wait, say that again? No, I was saying, in your experience, uh, look at this, man. Uh, when you learn another language, uh, I think people need to learn not just language, you know, more than that, you know, what that kind of people like. 
what kind of kind of things that people don't like you know for trying to fit you know in that uh, language so in your opinion is that true or meant you know or what uh, in my opinion the thing is that when you're learning a language it's always good to learn the culture behind the language too because there's a lot of uh, I, I took this class uh, like my freshman year in college and it was about language and culture and how they like kind of assimilate together and it's always good to know the, the culture because sometimes you'll you can't just directly translate certain things because there's there, there might be like a like a language barrier where you're you saying something might be offensive in a different language even though you're translating it from A to B, right? So you might A to B, but the way you would say it comes off as rude or aggressive, you know? So it's always good to, like, to learn the culture while you're learning the language, just so you get a handle on how to speak it correctly to people. Uh, look at this man, in Spanish or English, you know, there are, you know, too many expressions for be rude or be polite. In Spanish or English, what is more polite and, and or rude, man, in your opinion? Because you learn, you know the language, you know. Um, what do you mean would be more rude, like? like I mean, the, the, you know, mean? generally, generally speaking, you know, uh, Spanish is more polite, or English is more polite, you know. Um, I just think that Spanish is is more. What's a good word? It's more. Fuck, I would, it's like more. In my opinion, it's more beautiful. Like if it had a word, I would say yeah. that because it has way more. Um, adjectives to describe yeah. certain things mm -hmm. than it does in English. Like in English, you either say, "Oh, like I like that person," or, or, but in Spanish, you can say it so many different ways. You know, there's like so many different like spins you can put on that. Uh, just it's just like, saying, like, like ladoro, you know, all this stuff that you can tell this person. Yeah. In just a different mixed up and ways, but it's I don't know. It just has more adjectives that I like. I, I like to play with the adjectives more. And uh, look at this man, there is a simple, ex simple expression here about, you know, simple stuff in life. Uh, hey, yo, Squawk, because uh, you're tall, I can barely hear you. You're like, your, your voice box is like, boo, like sky high. <laughs> so I can barely hear you, it's like a whisper. Yeah, man. Man, can you hear us? Hey! Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. His, his little thing is like too high. Man, are you there? Oh, there you go. Squawk, what happened, man? Okay, what were you saying? You, you were saying something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Saying, yeah, no, I think like Spanish and like a Italian or like beautiful languages. I don't know, something about them, like, like French too, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just, know, I just like, like the, just like the adjectives. Way, like, you can just, yeah, just the way you can play with adjectives, like, mess around and I'll say uh, what, like one thing in so many different ways. Like, those tend to be languages that are like beautiful or like, you know kind of like suave or something, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Kid, you were saying something about uh, Adoro or something? Oh, it is Teddy Fresh, yeah, that's badass, dude. With the BMO, oh, he's got BMO True. Jesus, man. No, I, No, that guy, you know, with that thing on his face. Whoa. I never saw that, man. <laughs> okay. Um, you were saying, man, the adjectives. What what kind of adjectives, yeah. man? You know, you were saying something. Adoro. Is there is not another expression like, I adore you. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying is like when you're talking to like a girl, right? You can yeah. say so many different things. Cause in like in English, you can be like, I I adore you, right? And but it doesn't have the same impact. The, the impact is different, you know, like when you're when you're telling somebody next to you and you're like, oh, I adore you It's just like, oh, that's kind of cute. But when you're saying in Spanish, it has a different feeling to it, you know, like There's more in, in my opinion. There's more emotion back backing it, right? Because you don't really say that often and And in English when you say it, it's to something like to be little or cute like something cute, right? So when you say oh man, like you don't like you don't really hear it like in English when have you heard someone say oh, I adore uh, fucking I don't know, a teddy bear. Like, never, right? You just say, oh, I like a teddy bear, or this, right? It's just kind of like black and white to me. And and in Spanish, when you say it, like, oh, adoro este, este muñequito, it's like, it has, I don't know, it, it, it like vibrant, you know? To me, it's, it sounds like it has colors coming out of it. It's just so much more impactful, if that <clears throat> makes sense. So, man, uh, what about the movies and, uh, you know, with the uh, traduction for English or Spanish? How sounds to you, man? 
uh, what do you mean? Like, do I prefer one or the other? Or, or no, 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 no. I, I mean, you know, uh, I'm gonna say, you know, one movie like, um, okay, what movies do you like the most, man? You know, 90s, now, Avengers, you know? Oh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I fuck with all like the mainstream stuff, so like the Avengers and stuff, I'll watch that stuff, but, um, I don't know. I like. I mean, if I had to choose like a series that I really like, is like Harry Potter. That's like my fucking shit. I'll rewatch yeah. that shit when I'm going to sleep, you know. Oh, so basically, you just turn on the PC with Harry Potter and boom, sleep. Yeah, pretty. Well, I have my phone. I, I downloaded it to my phone, so yeah. I can just be watching like fucking movies and shit while I sleep, and you know, while yeah. I sleep. So, uh, you know, you know, do you have the chance for compare? You know. Uh, you know the Harry Potter version and uh, Spanish and the Harry Potter version in English Ah, I have I have a thing about that stuff. I prefer to watch anything in their original language I don't like watching stuff like dubbed so like and that works for any language like if it's an Indian I'll listen to it in Indian, but put like subtitles. I don't I, I like the 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 emotion you get from people's actual voices I don't like the dubbed over stuff if that makes sense mm, Yeah, so you mentioned the Indian movies. Hmm I, I saw this movie, yeah. you know, I don't know if you know it, my name is Han, do you know it? Mm, I don't think so, no, it doesn't ring a bell. Well, if you let me recommend this movie for you, man, you should watch it, you know, it's, oh my, my is, god. My name is what? My name is Han, K-H-A-N, you know. Okay, <clears throat> hold on, let me write that down, wait, 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 where's my phone? It's a, it's a really good movie, it's a really, really good movie, I was thinking about that all this day, you know. Especially the last time that I saw it was. When did you watch it? Did you watch it recently? Uh, I, I saw you know a long time ago, but uh, recently I saw it again. It was like, oh my god, that movie is so good, you know. You know, if you let me tell this man, uh, what is better for ya? Yeah, you know, Hollywood or Bollywood? You know, from Indian movies. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't mind Bollywood stuff, but I do prefer Hollywood stuff. Yeah, and uh, and you know what are the last movie that you saw from Hollywood. Hollywood? Yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't even know, dude. It's been forever since like theaters were open, but um. Avengers, probably. <laughs> you know. I mean, yeah, I watched. I watched this. Ah, uh, fuck. I, I like horror, so like horror is like my genre that I like to watch. So I watch a lot of horror movies. Um, there is this movie that came out. I don't know if it was recently, but I recently watched it. It's called The Boy Two. But it, 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 it wasn't that great. Don't watch it. I don't recommend it. Tell me more, man. You, you, you let me... You make me feel intrigued right now. <laughs> you know, I want to know about the movie. Oh, okay. So The Boy, the original movie is like... I won't, I won't spoil it if in case you want to watch it. The first one was okay. But it's about this like little like uh, like mannequin doll, right? That uh, is sort of like... Okay, so not, to not spoil, let's just say it's like haunted. This like, this, like little mannequin is haunted, right? And um, it gets the owners of the doll. Normally, it's like a kid. Yeah. It, it only it only does it with kids. It, it'll get the owner of the, the the doll to like alienate himself from the family and do whatever the fuck the doll says. So the whole movie's about like this kid going from like like being like a happy normal little kid to slowly becoming some like dark twisted shit. And um, eventually, the you know like they they try to figure out what the fuck is going on and they find out that it has to do with the doll. And um, I'll just say that, so that way, if it intrigues you, you can watch it. But it's it's pretty good. Man, when you mentioned the name doll, the, that is something that I'm afraid of, man. Dolls, you know. Yeah, always. Dude. Annabelle, Annabelle's a good doll movie too. You know, uh, I have but uh, I'm gonna tell a man one story. When I was a little kid, uh, you know, my mom used to have this doll, you know, in the, uh, the living room. It was late at the night. And I was watching this game Resident Evil 3. I don't know if you know it. And my brother, my other oh, yeah, yeah, I watched yeah, that. my older brother was playing it. You know, I you know I wasn't allowed for play games like that. But I used to be you yeah. know that kid you know sitting there you know just watching like a nerd you know. <laughs> and uh, then yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I used to that too. And uh, and that day you know I take you know I took uh, a lot of water so I need to pee you know it was until the dawn you know I don't know one in the morning two in the morning. And right. I went. I went to the to the to the restroom, and guess what? That doll 
they're scary, man. Oh my god. <laughs> because, man, I can swear that that doll actually look at me. You know, I saw her eyes like, oh Jesus, man. I can't. Oh, bad. <laughs> yeah, man, that was creepy, man. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for the ending of the story, man, I I'm gonna be honest, man. I pee a little, man. Definitely, <laughs> you know. I was a kid. I was a kid, you know. I was a kid, you know. I was a kid at that time. And uh, you know that the story when the people is just beginning to tell me stories about dolls, it's like, oh my god, man. I I I think I should to go, you know. I should to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Yeah, Talking I about, mean, I, I would, I would, I mean, I would watch that movie. I mean, if you're into horror, if you don't like horror, then eh, you know, it's not gonna, it's not really gonna pique your interest because it's just not the genre that you're into. But, I mean, for me, I love horror, so like, I could give a couple good recommendations. But, but man, when you look at, this, excuse me if I interrupt you, man. Uh, you said horror. I don't think that kind of movies are horror. Those movies are more than, uh, I don't know, spiritism or talking with the devil i guess you know ah uh, yeah but it, it, but but when you talk about horror like everything under that under that umbrella it's like it's kind of like holding like an umbrella everything all that spiritual stuff all the, like the mysticism yeah. even psychological horrors that's all part of like that genre it still falls under that little umbrella uh look at this man i'm gonna mention some movies that i saw before and you're gonna tell me if you know it what do you think man sure go ahead uh, Silent Hill one and two. Yeah, I've watched those. I watched. I've watched both. And your review about this, in the scale to one to ten, you know. I think uh, Silent Hill one is like a good like. Uh, I probably gave it like a good like, almost set eight. Like, yeah, like an eight. I gave, I gave it like a good like eight probably. Silent Hill two, I kind of like Silent Hill two a little bit more, so that kind of puts it into perspective. You know, probably like an eight. 8.3 or 8.5 it wasn't crazy better but it was in my opinion i kind of liked it more yo what was uh, in your if you uh, if you barely remember those movies what was the most yeah uh, was creepy gutty scene man i actually remember the fucking monsters i remember the fucking monsters the little things that i remember the most you know man i have this flash you know uh, there was a woman you know the people was running to the church and there was a woman there mm. and uh this how how this the name of this this garden or something that guy with a huge sword um do you remember his name he has his name or something ah, shit, dude. well yeah, the, yeah. Remember. well the situation is this guy grabbed a woman to, took off you know his her clothes off and you know uh all all her skin like oh my god jesus man what is that <laughs> oh my god mm -hmm. <laughs> or there when yeah, did those, i don't know uh then the next scary scene when the, this police officer civil she was burnt you know in front of the people on the church mm. do you mm. remember her face for me it was oh what the yeah, hell dude. dude there's there's there, dude there's so many good movies where they do shit like that mm -hmm. um fuck, i'm trying to remember the name of that fucking movie but there's like oh like have you ever seen the movie saw like those saw movies uh a jigsaw yeah, the jigsaw guy, the, the 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 it's like saw. It's like they they do like these crazy shit where like I like love those movies, giant. man. I saw all those yeah, movies, see, those one movies to seven, great. one to seven. I saw it, I saw all of those movies. And you know, uh, yeah, dude, those fucking great. you know, my brother used to watch me. Why are you watching those movies? Are you crazy? <laughs> you know, do you like blood? <laughs> are you some kind of maniac? Or do you like gore and violence? I, I, you know, I love violence and gore, but you know, I'm not gonna say, you know, mm. louder for that. People can say, probably, I have some problems, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In your opinion, I mean, when you like to watch that kind of content, uh, is that means, uh, you know, you're an insensible person? Because I don't think so. Does it mean that you're a what? An insensible person. person. That it means someone. Oh. I don't think so to be honest i think i think if anything it gives you like a stronger gut because you can just handle other shit, right yes i just think that's what it means I and don't, uh, i don't think it makes you insensitive or anything though it's like uh look at this man you know i was i was watching you know when i was a teenager i was watching uh right. i barely remember the name uh we know what part was for the jigsaw movies and my mom come my mom come my mom came 
and immediately I turned the, you know, I changed the, the channel of the TV, and my mom said, ah. okay, okay, all right, what, what are you watching? It's like, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you should have said porn. Uh, yeah, porn. she, yeah, she, see, yeah, yeah, actually, she saw that you're watching porn, like, uh, I was saying like this, look at my boss, man, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I can't watch that. But eventually, you know. You should have just switched it back and be like, look, I was watching this, I was watching this. Yeah, are you Show watching porn? Phone. It's like, uh, no. And uh, she called my dad and, you know, I'm going to call your dad. And you're going to talk to him. It's like, oh my God, please. I don't want to ha have this conversation, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> but, <How awkward. laughs> yeah, I was awkward moment, man. But, you know, in your opinion about, you saw all the movies from the soul, you know, all the, all the soul movies. Yeah, I saw them all. And uh, I saw them all. <laughs> and uh, and what do you think about the storyline for this guy, John Kramer, uh, his wife, and how I think it's good. and I think the ending like, of the story? I was watching them like I, I thought it was good. To be honest, I thought it was good because like when you watch them in order, right? Yeah. It's, it's better if you watch them in order, like sort of like consecutively, like close to like you can watch it like watch the first one the first day and the second one and the third one like the next day, right? You know, keep going like that because. Then you actually get the story because when I first watched them, I was watching them like when they came out. So it's like boom, Saw came out. So yeah. The only thing I watched the like the originals like in the like in theaters, right? But I would watch them when they came out in DVD or something. But it's better if you watch them sort of close together because then you understand that story. Like I completely forgot about the story when I finished watching the whole series. I was like, what was this even about? But like, it, it's better just to watch them together, kind of. Yeah, man, opinion. I agree with it. And uh, what was the the best death, man, in, in all the movies? And you know, if you barely remember, the, what? the best, the best death, you know. Ooh, I don't know. Or, or, okay, or better yet, man, the, or better yet, man, the, the best trap, man, the best trap for someone. Okay, my favorite one is the one with the, with the, with the, the, the mechanical helmet thing where it like snaps your face open. Yeah. I like that one. Oh my, my god. That's my one. That's my favorite one on the in the series. Either that one or the one where they like um. Where there's like a girl on top and there's two dudes uh, on the sides and they have like a saw and they're like pushing it towards each other or they can push it up towards the girl you know and the girl was like cheating on, on the dude or whatever the fuck right yeah man I like that one too that was pretty there cool. was uh you know yeah, there was you one saw? I watched one of them and I was like dude this is so like like I wasn't scared but it's just disturbing to see people die in different uh, ways I yeah like, yes I dude a, I have a weak stomach I couldn't do it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I get it then. That makes sense. <clears throat> there was uh, this oh, woman. Because... You know what about this John Kramer and how did he say he lost, you know, his kid. You know, do you remember his story? Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this woman, yeah, this woman Amanda, she was using drugs in the hospital. And uh, he sent his lover, I guess, this guy, to find more drugs in the hospital. And there was some kind of mm -hmm. accident, you know, on the door. And, uh, you know, John Kramer's wife lost the baby. And, you know, the jigsaw game start like that, you know, punishing the people yeah. there. When I saw that, you know, how Amanda died, you know, when they, uh, she bring this doctor for make some kind of surgery to John Kramer to save his life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, do you remember that? I saw, yeah, yeah I I've, remember now, I remember now. Yeah, I remember the expression of that guy in the movie. It's like, you shot, you know, uh, Amanda shot, you know, his wife, and that guy mm -hmm. shot her on her neck, like, oh my god, what a creepy scene. <laughs> yeah, Definitely, dude. man. It's crazy and it's brutal, but fuck, dude, it's so good. It was a good twist. And uh... Killer? Oh! What's, uh, What's up, man? What's Gucci, bro? Uh, nothing much, bro. It's been... I, I can see, I can feel my leg. A bit. Oh! Ah! You yeah, can feel your legs a bit. Long. Like, in a good way or in a... Oh! You've been drinking. Yeah. Yeah, I've been drinking. Ah, okay. Alright, alright. Hey, what? that's what's up, dude. That's a fucking vibe, you know? Yeah. Oh, damn. What's your drink? Drink. Yeah, man. How was the night going, man? Talking about drink, man. I have something here, but I'm not gonna take it. Not today. <laughs> Another day. 
What do you have? What do you have saved up? Some whiskey, I guess. Yes. Papa. Some whiskey? What kind of whiskey you got? Ooh, whiskey. Favorite. Oh yeah, baby. So, you were saying, man? What, it is? what kind of whiskey it is? Okay, you're gonna guess, man. Say. Ah, uh, uh, Jack. Nope. No? Jack. No, uh, no, no, no. I wanna, I wanna say it's Irish whiskey of some kind. Like, Irish? Uh, Irish? I wanna say Irish whiskey, yeah. Mm. Come on, man, you can do this. Uh, Courvoisier. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Second try. Those are the only two that I drink, so it's like those are like the limited ones that I know. <laughs> so, man, about do you know those uh, movies? And what about the storyline yeah. for John Kramer's wife? You know, and the Jigsaw Six. When she almost killed the killer, you know. Oh yeah, 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 dude, that was a letdown. I thought, I thought that's where the the movies were gonna end. I thought that was gonna be like, okay, this is it, it's, this is over. Uh huh, uh huh. Done. I was, was thinking kind of that. But then that, yeah, but then the plot twist. I'm like, okay, well, I kind of like where this is going. I don't mind another one. You know that I'm helmet, man. That drop on the helmet, you know, is oh my, oh my god, open my mouth. Jesus, man, that trap. <laughs> that is creepy, man. That is creepy. <laughs> really. Yeah, dude. But you it's know. so good, dude. I like that kind of shit. I, li I like when they do shit like that. Or... It's a nice twist on the movie. Better yet, man. At the ending of the, of the movie 6, this guy, this... Uh, it was some kind of... Oh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Gonna go right, yeah, it's all good, good, man. Okay, yeah. Take care. Uh, yeah, talking. man. No, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Take care, man. Good night, bro. Take it easy. Is he is he okay or is he is he wasted or something? I think I think he's fine. I think he's just like when I drink, sometimes I get sleepy. Yeah. I'm I'm probably assuming he he probably gets the same way, maybe. Uh, you know. I'm assuming. I don't tell know. me about it, man. When I the first time and only time that I got wasted, I did crazy stuff, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Until now, the people remember those situations. Like, uh, there was some guy grabbing to the table, and they said, "I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna go, you know, <laughs> anywhere with the pins off." It's like, oh my god, man, <laughs> what the heck? Jesus, dude. <laughs> Jesus, and I was, and I was wearing my tighty, tighty whities you know. Oh my god, man. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus, dude, he got to that point, huh? Yeah, and uh, my hey, old did my. Leave? I heard somebody say. What do you say? The... Yeah, goodbye. the killer guy that was right next to me, but he he was like kind of oh, fucked like... up, so he was like, "Fuck this, I'm gonna sleep." No, he was oh, better yet, man. He was happy. That's the word, man. He was yeah. happy. Yeah, That's the yeah. word. <laughs> really, really happy. Nice. And uh, and in that situation, <laughs> man, when that happened, until now, my friends. Uh, the remember you say, Adelmo, you can't drink. I know, I know I can't drink because crazy <laughs> keep, stuff. Keep the booze off this guy. Yeah, man, it's like, a, well, I, I, I'm happy that at that time nobody had photos or videos because just imagine, man, oh my God. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> man. Yeah, I remember, you know, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Stop it. You're not my friend. Fuck off. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And uh, my, ah, you know, one of those people I, yeah, I, I was sense. grabbing to the to the table. My pants was off, and it's like, oh my god, Jesus! And then we were in a, in a you know, in a disco club, and that was really mm -hmm. crazy. That people trying to help me, and uh, that was the first time in only, never more, never more, man, never more, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Just imagine. What would you do, man? Jeez. What would it be your? Uh, what are you gonna tell your friends the next day? You know, before that wild party. You know, it's like, Shit, uh, it's, it's that you, you did that last night, and now I said, hey, Kelly Kid, what's up, man? And you are like a little shy, tell me, I tell Mo, what did, what did I do last night? And I said, man, dude, you were doing this, you were doing that, you were naked, that people saw you, you were wasted, oh my god. <laughs>
and uh Jesus dude like what do you even do at that point you just kind of hide you're like oh fuck that dude yeah right dude stop fucking around but uh you know even until now that people remember and it's like eh, it's a, you know it's a good story you know you know good story yeah that's true that's true it's like uh it's like my best memory for my friends because they saw me in that way but never more man just once you know just once never more <clears throat> So, yeah, about yeah, yeah. The, the final uh, part for the movie 6, you know, this guy was trying to find or save his sister, you know, and uh, he was injected with some kind of acid, you know? Do you remember that? I'm trying to. Um... There was, a, you know, some kind of a course, you know, upside with, you know, syringes there, and that guy fail and he was dying in some kind of acid or something oh jesus christ <clears throat> damn dude i'm trying to remember so but i can't remember dude dude i only watch these movies like twice ever but man um, you got this man when i when i saw you know the some movies i i don't wait, know man is that the one is that the one where there's like a there's like a like a pot of acid and the keys underneath yes and she has to like put her hand in there to grab it is that the one uh, is this this is seeing is from the the movie three I guess. Ah, okay, then never mind then. Fuck, I can't remember. But that that you mentioned me that is hard, man. Just imagine, put your hand in some acid. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, dude. Fuck that, dude. But look at this, man. In that situation, you have to save your life of someone that you love the most. Would you do it? You know, put your hand in some kind of a place with acid, you know. Uh, shit, dude. You're if gonna I burn, man. Sure thought, I mean, I, yeah, that's just gonna fucking hurt. It's, I think the trigger is going in as fast as you can. Don't even think about it and just fucking plunge, you know. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not a technical, uh, but uh, that's gonna hurt, man, a lot, man. Yeah, but I mean, it's either that or they die, right? I don't know, man. I feel like I would like I would say now like it's easy to say it right, mm -hmm. but I guess once you're in the moment, you know. Yes. I don't know. You know, I asked this question to another people, and they said, "Of course, for my family, I'm gonna do everything." But to be honest, I don't think so, man. Just imagine to cross this place from acid running. You're gonna burn, man. Definitely. Yeah, that's just gonna fucking hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it just depends on the person, you know. It depends on the person. Well, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to save. If I don't care about that person, fuck that, dude. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! So you forget about me, man? It's like. No, it's like. like a, I don't care about right. It's you know like. Uh, yeah, it's like. Uh, look at this question, man. Do you consider yourself a brave person? You know, for everything, every situation. Say family, job. Uh, travel another part of the world for you know something else you know mm -hmm. so what is gonna be your answer man do you consider yourself a brave person do I consider myself a brave person for everything man um... Ooh. I'm gonna give you a situation man uh, you're gonna travel okay. because you have you know a golden opportunity for a job you know, you're gonna receive, right. you know, you're gonna be rewarded, you know, a huge kind of money. But you need to leave behind your friends, family, comfort zone, friendships, uh, people, neighborhood. Would you do it? Or are you gonna tell, oh I my would. god? I think, I, yeah, I'm not scared about that. I think I would. I would I would take the opportunity. Yeah, but that's... My mentality is like, it's always better just to try shit than yeah. to just kind of regret it later. I don't like that shit. So, uh, in the situation about job, yeah, you would you do it? What about if yeah, someone? I do it. What about men? Uh, because it's, it's like in my mind, it's not like a goodbye forever. It's like a goodbye later to later. You know, it's not like a it's like a see you later more than yeah. like a goodbye. Yeah, it's better. It's better as yet men say see you around. You know, when the people say see you, it's like okay, I'm not gonna see you again. <laughs> you know, like that, like that song. Yeah. I never see you again. You know that song. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Jesus man <laughs> Jesus man You know when the people said See you again oh, Yeah I understand Okay okay I understand You don't wanna talk about anymore Okay I get it I get it 
I get it. <laughs> oh my god, man. <clears throat> so, what about other situation, man? Um, uh, we are in an earthquake, you know, in a in a building, and someone is gonna die, you know, someone. Your look at this, man. It's a hard situation. Your mom in one corner, or your pregnant wife in the other. So, you have to decide, man. And I can't save both of them, right? Obviously, man. And obviously, the suicide is not an option, man. You know, because I have this situation and that guy, up, so I'm gonna suicide myself. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Are you sure? I think logically speaking, I think logically speaking, I would probably go for the pregnant wife and mm, child. Cause yeah. Because technically saving two people. Locally. And I, you know, I think my mom understand. you know. She understands, you know. It's a new life. It's my wife and my love. She's also my love, but, uh, you know. A young, you know, a to do an unborn child is more important, I guess. You know, I think, you know, that's what I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's like the same thing with like that train like uh, situation where it's like if you get to choose which train, like the train is coming in full speed, and mm -hmm. there's like a family on the right side and an old lady on the left side, and the train is coming in full speed, and you have the little shift knob that changes like the direction of like the train if it goes that way or that way, right? Like. Like which one would you choose? Like I would still fucking run over the grandma. I'd be like, you know, the grandma's one life, and the, like on the other side you have like six people or some shit, right? You're not gonna choose the six people to kill. You're gonna choose the one life. It's like, you know, it, it's kind of like the the scales. You know, hard decisions require, you know, <clears throat> how to say this? <clears throat> uh, I don't will, I guess. You know. Yeah, because if you do nothing, then they both die and shit. That kind of stuff, I don't know. So, come back to the movie, man. Uh, for, you know, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable with this, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, and what about mental last movie, you know? When I saw when I saw it the first time, you know, Jill, that, that woman, you know, she saw it, she, she killed the killer. But the killer escaped from the, that helmet. You yeah. know, she was running here hiding in this place and oh my god don't say anything <laughs> oh my god that was creepy man because to be honest that movie, that movie gave like a lot of anxiety uh-huh you know, know that movie uh, gave me a lot of anxiety uh, do you know like a a do you know uh, how to say this how to replicate that sensation of anxiety man you know no how it's like uh you uh in it like like this man you know <gasps> you know that's how we feel anxiety oh. you know <laughs> you know that's how we feel anxiety oh, or, breath or, what? or something a little faster you know <gasps> faster mm -hmm. and yeah that's how we feel like the anxiety mm -hmm. and uh you feel how your heart you know everything a little faster so when i saw that this scene oh my god my heart was you know jumping around <laughs> Oh my god, thinking, oh my god, she's gonna get caught in any second, she's gonna get killed, definitely. <laughs> she's gonna get killed. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know, man, but that's like the that's like the good part about those type of movies. Like, it's not, like, the jump scares are nice when you have them in horror movies, but I think the psychological shit sticks with you more. Like, yes, in a you sense, know, right? I feel like yeah. that type of shit is like the stuff that you remember. Yeah, that psychological, you know, thing is is more uh, unforgettable, I guess. You know, it's um, how do I say this? Um, there was another. Uh, did, uh, did you see uh, Game of Thrones, man? Yeah, I watched Game of Thrones. So, did you see the last season? Yeah, I watched. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. So, uh, this uh, this feeling I had for second time. When I saw the dragon get killed, do you remember that dragon? Yeah. Kill in the air. You know, my, you know, my other brother always yeah. saying me, eh, "Delmo, you need to watch Game of Thrones. It's amazing. It's good and it's popular." Okay. And I, you know, I was continuing watching since the season six, season six, season seven, and you know, it was nice, you know, to see that woman with uh, the dragons, and then boom, a huge harpoon kill one of the dragons when i saw that yeah. my heart jumped and i feel a, i feel like uh like that thing killed me or something you know mm -hmm. honest man you watched it, right? 
I I touch my chest and I. Uh, no, no, Game of Thrones. No, no. Right? So that way we don't spoil too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. You haven't watched Game of Thrones? No, go ahead and spoil that. No, no, no. Go ahead and talk about whatever you want. I'm good. Oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah, hold up. Oh, my yeah. God. What the? What, what happened, man? But yeah, dude, that, that part was like, You know what my favorite part was, though? Yeah. When, uh, when they bring back the first dragon as a fucking zombie dragon, dude. That was fucking badass, dude. At first, I felt sad, right? Because they fucking killed him. Uh -huh. They killed the dragon. The first so dragon. Fucking pull his ass out of the water, and then they fucking just turn him into a zombie. Yeah, the first dragon. Design, and it's like blue. Yeah, the first dragon, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the first dragon. That was like my favorite, my favorite dragon death scene, because he just comes back. And uh, what about the other part when that this this uh, witch, you know, this witch invokes some kind of I don't know fire, you know, in all the people there. When the zombies were coming, the zombies trying to make uh, some kind of bridge, you know, for enter the Winterfell, I guess. Uh, yeah, and wait, that what happens exactly? Explain to me what kind of happens, because I'm like having trouble remembering. It's not the, you're not talking about the part where she like summons that shade, right? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that? No, I was talking about men. Uh, there was a witch, you know, this witch. Uh, yeah. She never. She have a. She have a, some kind of deal with this. I barely remember his name, but uh, if she came back, like the winter fell. God. She's gonna get killed, because they promise. If you come back, you're gonna get killed. You know. And uh, yeah, you know the those guys, the zombies were coming, and she came back, and she used some kind mm -hmm. of a spell, you know, for uh, make the sword of the people there. Ignite with some fire, you know. Light it on fire and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a. Yeah, 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 I remember that. It was a good, you know. And what about the fight against, uh, you know, two dragons? The Jon Snow, the other lady. You know, what? What is her name? Smash. Who's? The other lady. Uh, what's up, man? I like a cut, G. <clears throat> so. I like a kaji. So, what about that fight, man? You know, three dragons. No, yeah, that one was pretty cool when they're like in the air and shit. They're like fighting in the air. Mm hmm. That shit was tight. I don't know. My, I don't know. Which one was my favorite one, though? Um. And banana. I think the, the okay. Battle of Go. the Bastards was like the best one. I thought that one was pretty good. Are you talking about this guy, Ramsey? Yeah, Ramsey and, and Snow, when they were like fighting it out in the fucking battlefield. I thought that was fucking badass. That was like one of the good fights. Man, to be honest... Like getting pushed and crushed. You know, for me, this guy, Ramsey, was one of the yeah. best actors yeah. ever for make antagonist people. Oh, hell yeah, dude. He was like... He made you actually hate him. Uh-huh. And what about Cersei? Cersei, what about that lady? I thought she was good. She was really good too. Her and and um, fuck, what was the son named again? Um, ah, fuck, the one that was the king for like a cool ass minute. Then click on me. Um, the one that got poisoned with the necklace thing, that blue rock in the necklace. What was his name again? I forgot his name, dude. Yeah, I forget I about. Names. Uh, what is his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it was kid. a kid. That kid. Yeah, the one that got poisoned. That one was really good too. Yeah. Good actor. But uh, you know, do you know, man, that in in real life, this guy is just some kind of theologist or something studying, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, she, you know, she forget about his fame and just I wanna become just a theologist. She's like, really? Okay. <laughs> well, you know, people decide, you know. <clears throat> what about how Cersei killed the people in the season six? All the people, the High Sparrow, the followers, with uh, oh, wildfire. Fucking, yeah, with that fucking fire shit that explodes. Oh ho! Like, oh ho, man! Shit. Look at this man. Uh, that chapter engaged me, you know, because I, I barely know what kind of TV show was Game of Thrones. But when I saw that, oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> 
you know, yeah, dude, that shit was fucking crazy. There was a famous meme on Facebook about Cersei Lannister. How was it? Uh, if you don't know how to separate religion from politics, Cersei knows how, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And she goes, you know, with his uh, wine cup there, you know, <laughs> drinking. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know that people can make you know funny stuff from something I'm not gonna say hard you know but that TV show was like oh Jesus man mm -hmm. and what about well, the I mean, end that's like one of the things that made it so good though I yeah think. and what about the ending man do you consider it was a good idea you know get killed uh, I don't really I don't really know from the ending it's it's fine but I feel like it could have been way better. I don't know. You I'm know, waiting for the book to come out so that way I could see how it actually ends or whatever. Uh, I, I feel kind of. Eh. Look at this, man. Uh, do you remember when? Uh, how to say this? Um, Jung is no, is another Targaryen, right? So nobody knows that. Just Sans, uh, Sansa Stark, right? She knows that, and she said that to Tyrion. So what if? Uh, this uh, this truth never happened, you know, never said to the people there, you know. Do you remember that prophecy about area? Area, she's gonna close blue eyes, green eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that never happened, man. Actually, it never happened. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't get explained in the book. There's there's other villain. There's another villain in the book who's uh who's a guy pretending to be a Targaryen, mm -hmm. and he plays a big role in the books and in the in the show he never even pops up. It's kind of weird. And uh, the most exciting chapter, man, with action. You know, for me, uh, the dragons was the uh, almost one of the most uh, the last chapters. You know, the last dragon destroying. You know, the a the Euron, right? Euron ship or something. Yeah. Mm. Like the whole, like the fucking, uh, the, yeah. the whole fucking city or, or what part are you talking about? No, no, I, I was saying, you know, when the dragon, the last one, come to the sky and destroy all the Euron, Euron ships, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, 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 the fleet and shit in the water. You hold like a, like an arrow, you know? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god, are you gonna kill that dragon? Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, that shit was crazy. I just, I, I like the, I like the scene where it's like Arya in the city while it's being destroyed. You know how like the dragon's like going through and like just fucking destroying everything, and she's like trying to survive and get the fuck out of the city the whole time. I like that scene. That whole scene was fucking amazing. <clears throat> and this lady Daenerys, uh, she get lost. You know, I don't know why the writers for the script decide to make, uh, you know, look mad. One of the last chapters, you know, in one chapter she was, yeah, she you know, wasn't, she wasn't even liked at the whole the whole show, and they kind of just uh -huh. in the end. Well, we can say definitely she become his, uh, her father. You know, the crazy king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She became mad queen. Yeah. And uh, what about the ending for Cersei and uh, Jaime? How they get they get killed? I thought that was I thought that was interesting. I thought it was like I don't know. I it, it was it was gonna end for him either way because of his wounds. Yeah. So it's kind of touching how they go, but but still. But I, mean, uh, I think they got what they got. They got what they had coming. Uh, don't you think, man? Uh, you know the classic the classic turn. You know. When the evil becomes some kind of, you know, I feel, uh, you know, sadness for those people because, to be honest, man, when I saw that scene, I feel sad for them. It's like, oh my God, yeah, that lady same. killed, did so many stuff in that TV show, and now mm -hmm. she's the innocent, I guess. Now she's the, yeah, you know. I mean, it, it's like you get pity, but it's not like for me it wasn't that much. It was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, but eh, she kind of deserves it. She was kind of a bitch the whole time too, so. But I see why she was doing it. She was doing it for her family the whole time, but but still. Now, what was the most annoying character in old Game of Thrones, man? It's like, you know, in every TV show there is some kind of character that 
it's not actually a good one for me there, you know. Mm. You know, I'm gonna say, man, for me, this lady Samsa was a little, I don't know. Don't convince me, you know, with his mm. wicker role. And I don't know yeah. why why she become the, the Winterfell lady then at the ending. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Because actually she betrayed, you know, she betrayed a, a John and tell the truth of Tyrion. You know. Mm -hmm. Because with that... I don't know, uh, I can't. Because when with that uh, situation, they can create a couple episodes, you know. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, I can't think of anybody that I that I found annoying. I think the especially one Daenerys. That I found the most annoying was that kid that stabs Jon Snow in in the uh, in the north, right, in on the wall. Yeah. That one fucking little kid. I hate that kid. That's the only one I found annoying. But that's like the only one I can think of. Everybody else was like unique and interesting. And uh, and what about the role for Jon Snow, man? You know, he she become he becomes some kind of martyr or something. You know, because for me it seems to be like that. You know. No, no, no. Um, what what do you mean? Like like Jon Snow's like title or what do you mean? No, I mean when he killed you know Daenerys at the end of the final chapter. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I don't know, man. I didn't. I didn't really like that part. I yeah. I think he could have changed her if anything, but. I don't know, man. I, I think they were just trying to end the show. I think they were just trying to like rush the ending. You know, there was, sure. uh, know uh, you know, there were some kind of rumors, you know, uh, almost at the ending of the TV show, oh, and they were saying that probably, you know, Daenerys and John they're gonna get married, and Daenerys is gonna just realize about the Sansa's betrayal, and she is gonna go to Winterfell and probably burn the Winterfell, you know. Because she has one of the last dragons, and I was thinking, what if that happened? Probably Arya, you know, Arya is gonna uh, make some kind of a conspiration, you know, and kill her. You know, mm -hmm. I was, and you know, those rumors I was reading, it was like, okay, if they do that, it's gonna be good. Now, what if men instead, you know, the king, the king of the night, you know, came to Winterfell? What if? Instead to go to Winterfell, they actually go to Red Keep, you know, when Cersei Lannister uh -huh. is. Don't you think mean it would be an amazing fight, you know, in, the other, in that place? <clears throat> hmm. Because, you know, Winterfell is, know. is a, yeah, I know it's a castle, but it's not too powerful, you know, but Red Keep, you know, it's, it's another, it's more powerful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely is, and I think it's easier to defend too. But I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. That's and a, and something mean that I that I don't like about Game of Thrones, especially at the ending, was whoa, 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 don't shoot. Hands up. What the hell? Don't shoot. Don't shoot, man. Don't monkey. shoot. <laughs> oh, I can clone. Explain. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now you. Hey. I shoot you. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, he don't gotta Trying be no monkey. Okay, I changed my mind, man. I changed my mind. I love all Game of Thrones, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Monkey, I'll shoot you. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> how do you get the gun? I've had this skin for like a whole day and I don't even know how to get the gun out. <laughs> Jesus, man. Wait, can you actually shoot this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm like pushing all my buns for this okay, shit. Okay, three, four monkeys. Jesus, oh, man. What is this, man? How do you do it? How do you do it? Uh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's like a, it's like a hand, hand gesture. So Especially like, Daenerys. Daenerys and Sansa are the most oh, annoying. Yeah, I mean, I agree, man. Sansa is uh, annoying. Oh, it's yeah, a yeah. I don't creepy know. lady. I don't, like, I don't the, like her. It's crazy. Uh, the F1 keys or something like that. I don't. Wait, what? Oh, you know, I don't agree like, how you know yeah, they the ended the TV show. show. You know, like the, the, I forget if it's Shift F1 or if it's like, I don't know. Why am I crouching? Oh, all right. Am I crouching right now? Who is crouching? Okay. Oh, uh, it seems. I seem really short right now. He is really short. <coughs> the Daenerys come to Westeros and try to be the queen of the regions. I don't know what to say. And uh, look at this—the final part for the Game of Thrones. 
Uh, what part you know didn't like about that TV show? Look at this man. How about the what? How the no? What kind of uh, part of the TV show huh. uh, don't like? You know, in your opinion. What's up? Mm, uh, that I not like. Um... Look at this man. I'm gonna give you a clue, man. I'm gonna give you a clue, man. The king of the night was killed very, 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 very easy, I think. You know? Oh, you the, are the king of the what? Really the king, the king of the night. King of the night. The king of the night. The night king. The night king. Which guy was that? The night king, man. The night king. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 okay, 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 yeah, um, that guy, yeah, that was, that was kind of a letdown, but, but man, it was very easy, easy, the master, like, assassin, you know, yeah, that was easy, it's like, wow, you know, all the seasons, they were saying, uh, that, yeah, the Night King was the most powerful, dangerous, you know, and Arya killed him, so easy, in just one episode, Mm -hmm. I was thinking probably a couple episodes, yeah. you know, a couple Ooh. episodes. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like they rushed it. I feel like they really rushed that ending just to get it over with, you know. Yes. I think that's what the problem was. Uh, okay, and what about you, man? What kind of part didn't like the, about Game of Thrones? Oh, shit. Um, because or, or are you gonna tell me it was perfect? I don't think so, man. There is no perfection, nah, nah, man. No, it wasn't perfect. No. Yeah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. There was definitely parts I didn't like. Um, I'm trying to think though. Um, what part did I not like? Season seven, uh, season eight. Um, oh, hmm. Because definitely, man, there are so many in accordances on the TV show. Well, it's a good TV show, but it's not perfect, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel that, but... You know, in my opinion, mm, man, I think, I like? uh, you know, I think Sansa should, you know, should be killed. You know, I think that... You know, I don't agree they uh, make a queen, you know? Like, oh my god, oh. really? The part that I didn't like was when when that one uh what's that guy's name? The other son, the one that takes over as like king, uh the Cersei's kid, whatever. When he just suicides, when he just jumps out the window because he can't handle shit. I thought that was like such a pussy move, dude. I was like, okay, dude, all right, you're just gonna fucking end it like that. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I thought that was like super stupid. No. He done so much more, and he just decided to just fucking end it. And I was like, okay. And uh, now you mentioned it, man. Uh, my older brother, all you know, all you know, disagree with that also, man. Always saying that guy is a yeah. really. It's like, do you remember his expression, his face? Like, uh, okay, I left behind the crown there, and now I jump. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid. Yeah, I don't, I didn't like that part. Like everybody else was like a badass or to some point, and then they have. The this kid is just like, fuck this, I'm out. And he just jumps out the window and it's like, okay. But probably, man, his character was a little boring to the TV show. That's why they decided to kill him that way. Probably, you know? Maybe. Yeah, he definitely was a boring character. You know, and I was thinking, in your opinion, man, to be an actor in those TV shows, what requires requires really talent or just good looks, in your opinion, man? I think it requires talent because I think not everybody can pull off the same character the same way that somebody else might. Like imagine like, like I like. Is, have you ever watched Ace Ventura with Jim Carrey in it? Yeah. Tell me yeah, more. Okay, so imagine replacing Ace Ventura with like like Jim Carrey with some other actor like uh, just just any actor Eddie Murphy. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same movie. Like the weird, awkward, funny shit that that he pulls off is yeah. hard to imitate. Man, you mentioned it's, it. It's more of like. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's it's hard to imitate something that's so natural to some people, and it comes off as being like pretentious. So it doesn't have that same effect when you're watching the movie. Well, as you now you mentioned a Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey definitely is talented for comedy. Is he's funny? You know, natural. Like you were saying, and about those movies, mm -hmm. Ace Ventura. 
Do you saw, you know, two movies or just one? Yeah, no, I watched both of them. And uh, oh my god, man, you make me, you know, when you mentioned the, the, uh, the name Ace Ventura, I remember that part uh, at the ending when this. I'm not gonna. Oh, which one? From the first one or the second one? The first one, man. The most awkward part mm, of the Kali scene, you know. Yeah, you know? the guy, the guy being the girl. The, the guy has something there, you know. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, man, I and saw that. Back on it, like, yeah, I saw that yeah, when, when I was. He says, uh, like, oh, yeah. Your gun is pressing into my waist. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like a. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was. I respect that people, but that. Uh... Uh, you know, it's like, okay, you hiding something there in your underwear. What is that, man? <laughs> oh my mm -hmm. god. <laughs> and, my uh, cock. Not my cock. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely, man. It's like, uh, you have a big cock there, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at this, man. Do you consider that was, uh, you know, an uh, inappropriate fart for kids or teenagers, you know? Do I consider what? That part, man. That part. That part, what? Like, yeah, that part. Like for kids or what? No, that part at the. That part, you know, that area at the woman exposing in camera. Like, oh my god. Oh. Because to be honest, that, when um, I was. I saw that movie and I didn't understand what is that means, but when I you know, grow up and I learned about this mm. uh, situation, I like, oh my god, that's gross, man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think once you once you understand it though it becomes more funny you understand the joke behind it. I See, think I think that's the thing. You know I thought she she has some kind of a uh, female issue you know in that area. But mm. then I just realized oh my god it's, 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 it's his cock oh my god Jesus man <laughs> Jesus also, man you know connecting. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus man. You know my mom is a religious person and you know she never pay attention to those details, you know? And I was thinking if mm -hmm. I said to her that that movie in that part is that means probably she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna do something, yeah. you know? But I was saying I'm not gonna talk about with my mom about that, you know? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, no, I, I can't. It's hard to argue that kind of stuff because there's too much, uh, too much, uh, like religion ingrained. It's hard to it's hard to change somebody's mind who grew up on that like mentality. And uh, in your opinion, man, what was the most uh, awkward situation that happened to you, man? You know, in, when you were a teenager. The most awkward situation, dude. Ah, man. It's like, uh, oh. do you remember uh, in the beginning uh, our talk? Uh, I was watching porn, you know, and my mom came to the room. So, mm. what are you gonna tell her, man? Because she saw you. I mean, fuck. What I do? I don't know, dude. I was I curious. I, I was curious. My last breath. I was curious. <laughs> oh my I'm god! Like, you're hallucinating. You're having a dream right now. You you're having a nightmare. Yeah. This is not real, you know. I don't know. That probably you know in that situation, my mom, you know, see that content at the, the PC or the on the screen, and she said, you know, she's just beginning to watch me in you know with those eyes, like throwing me knives, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. And my, and my mom is a religious person. It's like, oh You're my god. <laughs> yeah, man, that was awkward. And she said, Are you watching poor? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you gonna tell her? She's just like, No. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, in my mind, in my mind, I was saying no, but uh, my mouth never said nothing. So she assumed I wasn't watching that. You know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. So, what time is in your country right now, man? Uh, for me, it's 1.40 a.m. Here is, man, 3 and 40 minutes. Jesus, man. Yeah. Wait, p.m. or a.m.? It's a.m., man. A.m., a.m., oh, okay, okay. So, man, uh, uh, in the beginning of our talk, you were saying you like to... You play League of Legends or Dope Tattoo? Or both? Uh, I was more of a league. I played the league, not not a not a what's it called? 
Hey. Not Dota. I never got into Dota. To me, I don't. I don't like active items. I don't like having to constantly use my items. So yeah. that's why I didn't play Dota. There's a lot of active items in Dota. So and you... I forget I have them when I'm playing League. So you don't play Dota. Don't play it. Nah, nah, nah. I, Just... I tried it, but I didn't like it. I went back to League. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, it would be it would be amazing if you play because I used to play. You know. I'm not a pro mm. player, but uh, I'm good, you know. Not a pro, but good, you know. You know, just imagine for me, yeah, pro, I... pro is like, well, I'm not gonna invest, you know, three or four hours of my day every day. No, 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 I can't. Probably a couple hours per week, that's all. Mm hmm. Yo, what's up, boy? What's going on? Yeah, man, what's up? What's Gucci, bro? Yeah. I, I, I thought you guys had the animation song. Animation song? As a what? Yeah. yeah like the, 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 the avatar animation thing? No. Oh. Things. Avatar animation, man. Do you oh, have? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Do you have? Because I don't have, man. Uh, the, the only animation I have is this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Jesus, I man. Like this one. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show. Let me show. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show avatar. Okay, man. Look at this question, man. Look at this. Yeah, and, and we're gonna end in this chat. Man, do you oh, know? Oh my god! What? What happened? What happened? Uh oh. All I see is white. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's an exploding fucking turtle. <laughs> That's so fucking cool, dude. It reminds me of like a weird version of like. Have you, wait, you know Pokemon, right? Yeah. Yeah, Torkoal. It reminds me of like a weird version of Torkoal. <laughs> Jesus, man. Look at see. Yo, man, yeah, what's up? Back to my original avatar shit, cause this one's fucking oh. whack. Let's change. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome. What we're talking about is like little pet uh, turtle thing that looks like Torkoal from Pokemon. Yeah. Wait, look in the ground. Look in the ground. See that one right there? <laughs> you don't see it? I think you have the animation. Oh, no, I can see it, man. You need to highlight. You need to highlight him and then uh, show avatar. <clears throat> and um, and one last question, man. You know, for the ending, because uh, do do you have any idea, man? How much time we talk? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, not really. Like but normally, when I'm here, I don't even really keep track of time unless I like feel tired and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? What time is it? So we can continue talking, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. If man. I had a guess, I would probably say like an hour 15. Yeah, man. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's not, it's not uh, look at this, man. Uh, what was the most embarrassing moment in your life? Okay, you I know? got this one as well. I got this one as well. Oof. I don't even know, dude. Oh, I see. Oh, it's like the, the Enderman stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Look at this. Mmm, but most embarrassing. Oh! Oh, TP! Like a little TP. Yeah. And high school, school. Uh, Remember, yeah, man, high school is know, war. Man. Something embarrassing. High school is war, man, always. Mm. You guys are so fucking big. Like, shit. Jeez, I don't know. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Wait, let me get let someone me... of your side. You got wasted in a party, man. Uh, when I get when I get wasted, I'm like, there we go. what would you call it? I'm like a gobbler. I just laugh at everything. I'm not really like the type of person to start shit. Yeah. I just laugh at everything. So, so you like every time I've gotten fucked up, it's always just been laughing shit. You basically you seem um, like uh, you were hike or something, right? Yeah, kind of like that, I guess. You know, when people get wasted a lot and you know those eyes are red. <laughs> And you're laughing like hee hee haha. Ha. You know that people said, okay, what's going on <laughs> with this guy? Yeah. I, oh, I think the most embarrassing thing that I can think of right now. Was yeah. Was one time I was like, I was smoking with my friends, right? And we walked to Subway. And when I was ordering my shit, I don't know why I remember this right now, but this is just one of them. It's not the most embarrassing, but it's like, an embarrassing. Um, she had asked me if I wanted my bread toasted, and when I said yes, I went yes. And I dragged out the S for too weird, like, it was weird, I dragged it out for too long. And in my head I was like, why did I do that, why did I do that, why did I do that, I'll just say it again. 
Yes. And I did it again. And I was like, okay. Somebody ordered from. Oh, somebody ordered for me. I was, I was done. I, was, I just sat down. I was like, order for me. I can't. <laughs> I can't function. You know, those memories never, you know, always are good for remember, you know, and laughing, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, good, but I mean, I think about it, and I have not gone back to that subway ever since. You know, man, if I compare my embarrassing moment that I told you before and yours, I can say that yours is worse, I guess. You know, probably. Or. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I just, I just, I've never gone back to that subway, so maybe that means something. But I don't know. I don't think it's that that crazy bad. I thought it was just funny. Yeah. Look at this man. I'm in a fi final situation for now. Uh, what if you appear in some kind of, um, you know, you got wasted and you don't know what's going on or what happened? You're there, you know, laying down, laying down on the ground. Look at this man. Mm -hmm. Completely naked. The people around you. And in the party so you have two options man you can join them don't care about uh, how are you right now or you just mm. you know stand up and you just run away so Ooh. what would you do man um fuck dude if there's if there's anything to cover up and just join in i would probably just cover up and join in and just chill uh, if, I were, if i were to get that fucked up i'd normally be with like good friends I would yeah. be doing that shit like at random people's houses and shit. Yeah. This is fucking cool. I like this. Yeah, you know, it's good. It's, it's good like when you. It's, it's good when you find people for trust, you know? It's like, I know you, man. I know who you are. I know you. All the people know you. Oh my god. Oh god. You know, I have no secrets. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. know. I, Literally, I like, man, you have no secrets with people. Literally, you have no secrets with people. Oh my god, just imagine man <laughs> being in that situation like, uh, okay, I need to go to my, you know, to find something, but what if nobody helped me, man? The people, mm -hmm. is, you know, can be mean sometimes, but you know. A little problem. <clears throat> yeah. So, it's 3 in the morning and 47 minutes, man. It was a pleasure talking to you, man. We were talking, oh my god. Oh, hell yeah. Game of Thrones, Jigsaw. Do you consider yourself a very person? Embarrassing moments. I told you my story. You told me your story. Mm. It was funny. Dota, League of Legends, Overwatch. You know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. It was fun talking to you, bro. Nice oh, meeting oh. you and everything. <clears throat> you know. And what about when you make some kind of mistake in a game? You know what was the worst oh, no, a comment that you one of your friends mm. told you? Fuck, dude, I don't even know, dude. We just talk shit to each other so much. It's like at this point, it doesn't even register as like getting like I don't know, dude. There's just so many. It's like because I mean, okay, look, when when you when you fuck around with friends like that, it it just doesn't even register anymore. You can just get called whatever the fuck, and you're just like yeah, 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 whatever the fuck. You know, it's your fault. You're the one that put me in that spot, and then you just kind of like banter. Yeah. I don't really know, like. It could be anything, to be oh, honest. Bro. Something easy. You know what Dude, I'm saying? The most common always is, are you retired or something? <laughs> mm. Are you blind? Nah, I, I mean, normally, normally what we say is like, damn, bro, you're fucking trash or some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that, man. You're a fucking trash, yeah, dude. Just, yeah. Come back, we you know. so much. Go to sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the things that I tell my friends, like, if they, like, if they were, like, trying to do some cool play or something. Yeah. I'll, I'll stay quiet when they die i'll stay quiet and be like oof yikes and then it's just you know it's i don't know it's over the gentleman yeah, over the gentleman uh delmo you look tired come on man go away <laughs> oh my god <laughs> with that comment oh my god i look tired really how do you know <laughs> jesus man okay man uh it was a pleasure man to meet you we were talking you know yeah dude nice meeting you too my bro. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm really glad to meet you, man, and uh, if you don't mind to for talk another day, you know, you know, how much, how oh, yeah, often, yeah, be down for sure. yeah, how, how often, don't you mind to add me for, you know, talk someday, probably, oh, yeah, dude, I got you, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you, I got you, boom, you know, you wait, when yeah, I, uh, when I found, I used to, go, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, oh, no, I was just saying, I used to, like, play this a lot more often, like, uh, the past two weeks, I've, I've, like, taken off, Hello. I've been doing it, some IRL shit, so I haven't really been playing. Yo, what up? Yes, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Who said that? Yeah, so, I mean, recently I've, I've been back on, though. I've been back on recently. 
To be honest, man, when I found nice people for talking about everything, and you seem to be, you know, a pretty open mind guy because, you know, some people normally, when I make some kind of questions, they said, okay, what's going on with this guy, you know? But you are mm -hmm. open mind, you accept, and you talk about everything, and it is cool, you know, when I found, oh, yeah, you know? Oh, yeah, it's dude, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't like, go ahead, go I don't ahead. I like being around the bush. I'll, I'll tell you straight up, I'm not gonna like. I'll, like, if I think like if I think about something, I'll just. I'm the type of person that just like say it. I don't really think about the shit that I'm saying sometimes. So I, I might get annoying at some point. I so know. I don't know. It's just, it's just know. a warning. Just a warning. You know, because some people consider me, you know, especially some friends. Uh, the more you're annoying, you're asking those questions, you're like, oh my god, man, I'd like to talk. What is your problem? You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like I like doing that shit too. I like asking people questions and stuff. I become I, I call myself interview Andy sometimes just because of how much I fucking end up. Yeah, doing. yeah. My friends told me uh, that the uh, kind of questions that I was asking it seems some kind of interview or something. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, really yeah. Though, I don't know. You know, probably in the future I'm gonna go you know to the streets and find real interviews yeah, with yeah, people. Man. You know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure. Why not? And streaming. Why not, man? Why not? You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. That'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, you man. Uh, thank you for your time. You're amazing. You know, I gotta go right now. Uh, you know, I'm gonna rest right now. And uh, the next time, man, don't you mind? You know, we're gonna go to the karaoke or play the order probably. You know. You know, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. probably be down. Yeah, we're gonna I, I don't sing. Like but but I'd be down to just like fucking watch people do it. I guess. I mean, I'm come trash. on, just sing. Don't. I'm not a pro singer, you know. I'm not. It's tough for you saying I'm not a pro. You know, it's, <laughs> it's just because uh, relax me. It made me feel happy, and you know, who knows? Probably we can find more people, you know, for talking about whatever, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, man, uh, see you around. Stay safe, and uh, thank you for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Take care, bro. Take it easy, man. Yeah. Oh, by the way, where is the other guy? Where is the, your, your friend that was here? The other guy? Which which guy? Uh, there was a guy oh, around us, you know. The I monkey guy? Yeah, the monkey guy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who he was. He didn't. I didn't add him either. He just kind of left without saying I, anything. I thought he was uh, your friend or something. Oh no no no! I just I just met him when I well I met him the same time when you guys were like talking before or whatever. Okay, uh, you know, soak, uh, stay safe, you too, man. I see you at me. So, guys, uh, thank you for your time. See you around. Bye bye, friend. Yeah, take care, bro. See you, man. No, 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 man, no, no. Better yet, man. See you around. I'm not gonna say see you again because it's not the ending, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, <man>. I <laughs> see you again, you know? No, 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 no. See you around, man. See you around. Sure, see you around. Bro. By the way, man, yeah, do, bro, you have, you, do you have a Discord or Instagram, you know? Or add you? Uh, yeah, I have Discord. Uh, or better yet, you can add me. My nick is, you know, the name that I have here, Adelmo. Hashtag twenty six twenty six. Hashtag twenty six. Is it all? Is it all lowercase? Is it capital yeah. A or, or what is it? Yeah, the first letter is capital. You know, the the Adelmo. Ah. Hashtag uh, twenty six twenty six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Hashtag twenty six. All right, for sure. I got you. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna see right now, man. Are you gonna add me or should I wait? You know, man. Uh, hold on, not here. I got you. Well, if you don't mind, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, baby, if I go for. Okay, I think I got you, right? Did you get that? Uh, your nick is Cali kid, right? L the same kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's me. By the way, man, uh, w what does it mean, Cali kid 13? Well, if you don't mind to tell me. Uh, I, it's like my old name that I used to have for like PlayStation and shit too. Oh. It's just, I'm from Cali, I'm from California, so that's it's not original or anything. No, it's pretty original, man. It's pretty original. Look at this Cali kid. California kid, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds cool. So, come in. I'm gonna add you right now. I uh, save you and uh, we talk by Discord later, you know. Yeah, sounds good, bro, for sure. Yeah. Bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. See you around. Alright, take care. Take care. Okay. I uh, gotta go. Oh, man.
that was amazing definitely 